If there's one thing Brighton know how to do, it's how to scout for pure talent. And they have proven that yet again with Kaoru Matoma. But many still don't know who this dude is. So let's take a look at seven things you probably didn't know about Kaoru Matoma. Number one, he's from a sporting family. If you're wondering why Mitoma always looks like a natural talent, it's probably because it runs in the family. His father is a former track and field athlete, while his mum played volleyball in her younger days. Kaoru decided to go a separate route from his parents early enough, though, joining the Kawasaki Frontal Football Academy at the tender age of 10. Number 2. He chose school over a footballing contract. Now, this sounds like the exact opposite of what we usually hear. More often than not, youngsters choose a budding footballing career over school, and to be fair, they hardly end up regretting it. But Mitoma is different. He's always been different. After spending eight years at Kawasaki Frontal, the coach saw how much he had grown as a footballer and offered him a place in the first team along with a professional contract. But Mitoma turned it down. He didn't turn it down because of a bigger offer from a bigger club. He turned it down to go to uni. He enrolled into the University of Tsukuba in 2016 and began studies there. Now, he didn't just go there to face his books. While he was there, he was actually improving himself physically as well as his football knowledge and skills. Number 3. His thesis was on dribbling. Ever wonder why Mitoma is such a fantastic dribbler? It's because he's not just naturally gifted, but he also studied and did a lot of research on the art of dribbling. During his program at the University of Tsukuba, Mitoma was required to do a thesis, and the topic he chose was dribbling. He was playing in the university's team at the time, and he did a deep dive into dribbling getting help from his teammates as well. In an interview with The Athletic, he said, It was the easiest subject for me to choose because I love football and dribbling is what I love to do. I put cameras on the heads of my teammates to study where and what they were looking at and how their opponents were looking at them. Wow, Premier League defenders might actually be in more trouble than they know. Imagine being in a 1v1 situation with a forward who doesn't only have a supernatural knack for dribbling, but also went further to study it. What a guy, man. Number four, he is married. For those of you still looking at Matoma as a wonder kid, he's actually very far from that. He's 25 and he's a married man. He got married last year and it appears that he's trying to keep the identity of his wife private. However, a Japanese blog revealed that his wife is Narumi Miura, a childhood friend of his. But reports say that they only started dating in college and Narumi could be a footballer herself. Number 5. Model Brother Matoma's older brother, Yuki Kusei, is a professional actor and model. Apparently, he used to play football like his brother when he was younger, but he never went pro. He instead decided to pivot into the entertainment industry. Number 6. He loves meat Professionals might say it's not the best for athletes, but Mitoma loves meat. His favorite dish is yakiniku, which is a Japanese grilled meat dish. He particularly enjoys eating yakiniku with noodles. Mitoma also loves Belgian fries and mussels, but of course, not as much as yakiniku and noodles. Number 7. His famous cross against Spain Japan had a pretty good outing at the 2022 World Cup in Qatar, and Mitoma was responsible for their biggest and most controversial moment of the tournament. If you remember, Japan's winning goal against Spain came from a cross that, at first, seemed like the ball had gone over the line before a VAR review revealed that it actually hadn't when the cross was put in. Well, in case you didn't know, that cross was put in by Kaoru Mitoma himself. That singular assist pretty much encapsulates the boy. He is never truly out. Most players would have just given up on that ball, but never Mitoma. In a sense, he was responsible for sending Japan into the knockout stages as table toppers. But unfortunately, the tournament ended with him missing a penalty against Croatia, which contributed to them being knocked out of the tournament. But following that disappointment, he has since picked himself up and has been putting up fantastic performance after fantastic performance in England. 
He scored against Arsenal in the Premier League, then against Everton. Then he scored the late, late winner which knocked Liverpool out of the FA Cup. Then another late winner against Bournemouth in the Premier League to bring them one step closer to finishing in the Europa League spot. Mitoma is already an absolute superstar and what's scary is that he's only going to get better. As a defender, when you're one-on-one -on -one with a man who studied dribbling in uni, you should be very scared. Anyway, do you think Matoma will be at Brighton for long or do you see a big team coming to snatch him up this summer or next? Let us know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye!